Hello, and welcome back to Character Profile, the series where I pick one of my relatively unknown characters and share a bit of their story with you. The character we have today is quite fitting since we talked about Keith last time. Now we will talk about his lesser known brother, Wyatt. While these two look very similar, there are some important differences to note. Aside from the obvious difference in color scheme, Wyatt is slightly shorter than his brother, and has a few distinct facial features. Their voices are also vastly different, with Keith sounding like this. Wahoo! Hey! Ha! 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 The amazing Keith! And Wyatt sounding a lot more gruff. Yahoo! Hey! Ha! Ya! Ha! The amazing Wyatt! Wyatt's personality is also very different from that of Keith's, as described in his official description. Wyatt is Keith's adventurous brother who often joins him on his adventures, but he usually isn't as involved. He mostly just encourages Keith along the way and gives him helpful tips. Sometimes, Wyatt gets into trouble himself and needs help from Keith. He is rather prideful and shows some jealousy towards Keith, since Keith is always the center of attention. Perhaps Wyatt will have his own game someday. Wyatt feels as though his famous brother is always overshadowing him. This aspect of the characters parallels that of another famous brotherly duo. When we take a look at Wyatt's history, it's easy to understand why he would feel so jealous. Like Keith, Wyatt planned to make his debut in The Amazing Keith, released in 2013, but was never added into the final demo. He was originally planned to be a secondary playable character with his own power-ups. Although his exact character sprite has since gone missing, he would have basically been a recolor of Keith. However, in The Amazing Keith from 2017, Wyatt did appear in Glorious 3D, but only as a minor side role. Like Keith, this game also set the precedent for Wyatt's design and distinctiveness from Keith, albeit his facial features were slightly different in this variation. In the retro version of The Amazing Keith, Wyatt only appears at the very end of the game, congratulating you on collecting $100. I wonder if he ever got a share of the money. His design in this game is simply another recolor of Keith's design. Finally, after six years of standing on the sidelines, Wyatt makes his first official appearance as a playable character in Keith World. Once you have collected 500 coins, Wyatt can be unlocked in the shop. It's about time! In this game, his design has been refined and has remained the same to this very day. And that's the story of Wyatt. Although he has been an afterthought for many years, it looks like he's starting to gain some appreciation. And who knows, maybe one day he really will get his own game. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Character Profiles. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you'd like to read a summarized version of this video, check out the link to my work in progress blog in the description below. I'll see you all in the next video.